so you're in my spare room so don't judge me the room is messy we um closed off the air conditioning vent we found these guys very sensitive to temperature um we can't even take them out of here into the kitchen table because that's what we were doing to make it more convenient because we just couldn't keep them warm so let me show you my setup it's early i fed them late last night <clears throat> so i'm gonna stop this video and well maybe i can speed it up i'll let you keep watching Yeah, he's gonna fight me. Oh no, 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 no hand shaking at me. No. Some of you may have watched another video, realize that these rabbits, uh, well, maybe not these, we shall see, but um, you know, these rabbits ultimately are um, meat rabbits for rabbits, but it's a life. I have children, we are people, just letting a little thing just lay there and die um, really isn't part of who we are one thing about people who raise their own food that those of you who don't do that and think that it's something's wrong with it is we have most most of us have a great respect for life and you'll find out that we'll go through great lengths to protect or to help a defenseless animal that needs help um, even though you're someone who in another circumstance you know is eating animals in producing your own meat so he is just gosh come on honey I can't go any faster if he's not gonna latch we're not gonna get far Come on, pumpkin. And I'm not moving my hand. And he's getting cold. And this room in here is warm. Whew. It is, it is summertime here. This is North Carolina. It's hot in here. But this little guy's getting cold already. And, oops. Although he has a, he has a little bit. I can tell better from the back side than the front side. Um, he really could eat more. And I may stop and, you know, feed him again in a couple hours. I have outside animals that have to be fed, a garden to be tended to, <sighs> several chicken pens to take care of. Oh my God. So. And look at that. He's going to latch at the very end. seems to be the story. Okay, so that's why we want to use this one, but they just don't, they just don't seem to be able to latch onto it very well because when they do latch, it'd be nice not to run out of formula and they would get done much faster. And fat boy here is just being lazy. In his defense, he's getting cool. There we go. Come on. He's latched. You can see that formula moving even without me helping. And boom, he's out. <laughs> Refill. If there was a way for me to keep going, I probably could have already been done. All right.
He's not done. I can tell. So, there's a fine line between trying to give them a taste at the end of this and giving them too much, and then we have a problem with it being in their nose. They are squirmy. Squirmy, squirmy. If you don't have patience, you will not be able to do this, I'm telling you right now. My husband sees how long it takes us. He would love to help. He's got bigger hands. He could hold them better. He does not have the patience for this. If the girls were in school, I don't think we'd be able to do this. <laughs> I'm off of work today, so I'll be able to feed them three times a day. But the girls will have to struggle with their feedings when I'm working. All I can do is hope that these bottles come. They really did well on the cat bottles. They wanted to, they latched, and the bottle had plenty of formula in it, and it just came out too fast. So I ordered small animals made for ferrets, rabbits, bottles. And I'm going to hope that's going to do much better because it's going to make it a lot easier. Makes it a lot easier on the girls, too. Are you done, pumpkin? Hmm? I don't think you're full. I don't think you're full. I really would love to get one more anium. given him enough to make it to his next feeding but you know you don't want to just give them just barely enough because I really think we almost lost them day before yesterday every day is a challenge every day is a new day with these guys he's not very full he definitely has enough to make it to his next feeding but you'd be surprised they'll be deflated by the time you come back to feed them again. And these guys will get fed again in about uh, four hours-ish, five hours-ish. And they won't quite need as much in the afternoon feeding. And then they'll be just completely empty for the evening feed. Could they use four times a day? Yes, I just don't even know how I would fit that in to my day. So, cross your fingers for Amazon. Oh, great. Now you're going to get it. Did you hear him suck at the end? Yep. And because I'm out of formula, that's, of course, that's par for the course. <laughs> this is very uncomfortable for me to sit down like this. Don't get me wrong. For a, a big girl and an older woman... I can sit cross legged for a very long period of time, but I've been doing this for days now. And he's just going to kind of slow this one to pop back in. This is our runt. This is our littlest one. And he's hanging in there. Lots of care. 